I want you, Bubba. I'm Sheila Kay. I'm from Detroit, and uh, hey, yeah, I went to school there. Good. I, I, I majored in animal husbandry. Uh, <laughs> that worked for me. I married a couple of pigs. <laughs> they were, they were pigs. Both of them, both of them are remarried and happy, so I hate them. Um, one lives out in Arizona on a mountain with a woman named Hope. <laughs> Kinda kick off your earth shoes and shave your pits, bitch. <laughs> Well, she is. She's one of those little mountain goat women with the hairy legs, you know, little, ki little kids going, Daddy. It's kind of sad. But, uh, and then, uh, yeah. I, so now I'm dating. I'm trying to date. It's, it's so hard to find a nice guy. Now, it, yeah, and nice to find a hard guy, but how often does that happen? <laughs> no, it is. It's just, uh, you can't, you, you know, where do you go? You can't go to the bars anymore. Girls are afraid to go in and pick guys up in bars. There's axe murderers, diseases, uh, guys around the bar going, want to dance? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Thanks. I'll just sit this one out. Okay, there's things to catch. No more one night stand. Not that I'm going to get anything because the next person I sleep with, I'm boiling them first, so I'll be all right. But, uh, yeah. No, birth control, that's a big thing now. This is the 80s. You got to, you know, you got to be aware of birth control, right? Birth control, I, here's my social statement. I think birth control is something that's been put on the woman's shoulders for years. And, yeah, and how the hell do you use it there? <laughs> No, it's, uh, it's been the responsibility of women for a long time. Uh, we're going to take a little vote. Ready? Girls first. How many women believe men should be more responsible for birth control? <laughs> How many men believe men should be responsible for birth control? <laughs> what, you think you're going to get some now? No, I don't. <laughs> don't care. Look at this. A whole room full of guys. You know why? Because they don't have to have the babies. That's the bottom line. And uh, we wish you did. If you had a baby come out, that would hurt so bad. <laughs> then you think about it. Yeah. It's uh, the guys are going, what? It's, uh, it's just a, a physical impossibility. They know it's not going to happen, so they don't worry about it. They, don't even, they can't even buy anything. Well, they've got one product. Men can buy condoms. That's the only over-the-counter product. Uh, and even that, they're selling to women out condoms for women, which, yeah, I didn't know what to do with them. I, uh, I, I've been wearing them on my hands to do dishes. I didn't know. It's, uh, they're lubricated. My hands are so soft now. But, uh, no, there's, uh, yeah, what do we got, girls? We've got uh, crummy choices is what we've got. Birth control pills, that's our biggie. Works the best, 99% effective. Works the best because it makes you so fat and ugly, nobody will sleep with you. Yeah, what a thrill to wake up with a mustache. Go, my God. Number two is what? The, uh, the diaphragm, that little round frisbee. The kind of, yeah, I put it on my cat for Jewish holidays. It's so festive. Meow, meow, meow. I didn't know if my cat was Jewish or had hairballs. Uh, what else? They've got the, uh, the sponge. There's a lovely item. Who, who came up with No woman in her right mind. A woman wasn't washing dishes one day and she went. <laughs> stuck washing dishes, he was mad at his wife, and went, oh, you know what? <laughs> and then, uh, I don't know, there's a bunch of others, yeah, yeah. The worst thing in the world for a woman is not figuring out which method to use, it's not actually having the babies, it's going to the woman's doctor. Now, I'm not going to say anything horrible or, or embarrassing, but uh, everybody, I mean, you know, men don't understand, they go to their own doctors that have to cough, it's a major trauma, <laughs> you know, that's a, yeah. We've got a doctor, though, that's got cold shoehorns laying around, so we're a little upset. <laughs> And they're icing those babies up. I don't know why they <laughs> put a chill on it. Sheila's coming, you know, thanks. <laughs> Every woman in here has been through this, uh, you know, at least once, right? Here's what happens. You walk in the office, nobody knows who you are. As soon as you hit the table, they remember your name. <laughs> Never forget a face, huh, Doc? <laughs> no matter where you put yourself on that table, you wait for those inevitable words. Scoot down, slide down, scoot down, get down. I scooted down one time, my butt hit the floor, my feet when the air was hanging upside down. He's calling the nurse over, look at this! Had spotlights on me like Alan Funk was gonna come popping out of somewhere. Going, you're on candid camera, you know, kind of a... Yeah, that, that, and, and you land there, all you can think about, uh, you know, here he comes at you with that miner's den cap blowing on his head, and, and you, you look down, and uh, talk about your tunnel vision, you look down, here, here he comes at you with that miner's den, and all you can think about is, please God, give me gas. <laughs> for a young guy. I just want you to know that in case there are, uh, I don't know how old you are, Bubba, but uh, I am because older women should date young guys. That's just the way it is. They, that, yeah. 35, 
40 year old women are peeking when 18 year old guys are peeking and that's who we should be peeking and <laughs> no because you know they don't know what they're doing but they can do it forever and basically that's what counts <laughs> Okay.